Hello, this is Niagara Nikki coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And I have for you this month's Scrawler Box, which is an art supply box from the UK. So I'm, I really like this. I, I'm excited to get into it and see what it is. I've already opened the box, but I haven't looked at anything inside. So this is what the box looks like. It's branded and we open it up. And we get a sneak peek at what's in there. Can't really tell because it's all wrapped up in tissue paper. I can see their sticker here. And I see something that looks like it might be a pastel. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so first every month we get their... Uh, sticker and then we get a list of what we've been sent and on the back there is a challenge which you can participate in I don't follow those the theme for this month is a shattered self and this is the doesn't say what month it is on it but it's the it's this month. It's, uh, what month is it? <laughs> August. It's August. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, 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 okay. I'm happy. This is a lot of pens. And there is something underneath, too. You know what? We're going to look underneath and see what that is. Okay, so... What we get each month in here also is an art print by someone who has subscribed to the box and uh, their work gets featured. This artist is Sydney Nielsen and she's only 16. And uh, she is from, doesn't tell us where she's from at all, so we'll just assume she's from the UK. That is really nice. Very geometric. Very nice. I like that. Okay. So, that was everything on the bottom. Okay. So, Scrawler Box always sends you some candies. And these are like, they're called Swizzles. But they're Swizzles Fizzers. They're just like, um, sweetheart things. Though. Okay. And then, well, I'm going to look at my card so I can tell what everything is. And then, I think I got a piece of blank paper. Oh, yeah. This is a piece of uh, sketchbook paper. And they always give you something to write on so you can draw something right away or uh, put it aside for later. Okay, so we will go through what's in the box. And then I will do a quick little uh, try out of the items. If you want a fuller, more detailed review of this stuff in a little while, I will have a detailed review up on my review blog, Living Outside the Subscription Box, which I'll put a link to down below. But let's get started because I am crazy knowing what's in here. Okay, so first thing we have looks like a fine liner. I'll show it to you. And then I will read what it is. Okay, so what we've got is an Art Line 200 Fine 0.04. Now, that is going to be fine. Let's see what it says. I haven't heard of this brand. The Instant Drying Blur Proof Ink makes this plastic nibbed pen ideal for drawing. The fine fiber tip draws a 0.4 milliliter line enabling detailed outline work. All right, so I haven't heard of this brand before, so it'll be interesting in trying that one out. I have a lot of fine liners. Okay, next we have, it looks like, nope. Okay, so now we've got the same art line 210 medium 0.6 ok 
Okay, so is that listed? Yes, that's listed on here. The 210 has a slightly larger tip, making it ideal for drawing where bold lines are required. The ink is the same water-based instant drawing blur-proof ink as the 200, but we opted for an extra splash of color, and it looks like everybody got the blue. So let's take a look at that nib. What's on there? Looks like cat hair. It's not my cat. Oh, well, wow. Yeah, that's pretty much like what you would expect from a felt tip pen. Right. Very nice. I trust that I'm trying those out. Okay, now, what's in this? Oh, we'll just do the package last. Okay, so now, this is a post-chalk dry wipe, 1.2 millimeters, water-based, Keep horizontal. Okay, let's take a look at that. Now, I will read from it, but if I'm correct, this is like a paint pen, but you get like a chalk paint out of it. I have one of these. Not this, not this brand though. The one I have is white also. Kuretake Post Chalk Dry White Marker. Kuretake is a good brand. I'm happy to see that. A water-based pigment marker in which the chalky lines appear gradually after drawing. The 1.2 millimeter bullet tip is especially effective on black, but can also be used to add highlights to your work. Also, if it's like the one that I have, it works really well on magazine paper too. Okay, now this is a fat one. Poster marker from Artline. So it looks like the brand Artline is featured this month, and I have n do not have anything by them. This is a poster marker, tempera, so it's tempera paint. It's acid-free, and it's four millimeters, so that's going to be a big one. There we go. So this again is kind of is a uh, paint pen, but it says it's tempera. Tempura, so that's the type of paint that's going to come out of it, and I'm guessing that I got blue. Let's have a look on here. Artline Metallic Poster Marker. Oh yeah, see, it is shiny, so a metallic blue. Ooh, that excites. This vivid, opaque, water-based metallic pigment ink has superior water and fade resistant performance. It allows overpainting without bleed through, but easily washes off non-porous surfaces. All right, now let's open up. Oh, oh, I'm so excited about this. It's a Wink of Luna brush. I do not have any of these and I have been coveting them. Oh, I just absolutely love brush pens, and these are, like, metallic. It's metallic blue. So I got two metallic blue things. Oh, this is awesome. And this is from Kuretake as well. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Just made me wonder there for a minute if I was saying it right. Oh, the Japanese have such inventive packaging that out of here. Okay, it's telling me how to open it. Push. Oh, okay. So then it's just like a, it, it's like, it's like a water pen where, except it's got paint in it. So you, you push and you, the ink comes out or, sorry, I'm going to be saying the wrong words until I read it. The ink or paint, whatever it is, comes out. I think these are like watercolors. And, uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've always wanted some of those. Okay, let's read. Kurtaki Wink of Luna. This brush pen is the perfect tool for adding vibrant color and a subtle metallic effect to your artwork. The brush tip is a real bristled tip, so variations in pressure can produce broader or finer strokes. And it is, it is blue on the card, so I don't think there's any variations in this pack. The blue, the black, the dark blue, metallic blue, and white. Okay, and then, finally, we get a set of pencil crayons, which is always interesting. Stetler. I like Stetler. 
Now, what is the deal with these? Colored pencils made from Wopex material. Brilliant colors. High break resistance. And they are Norris color. They I pretty much like Stettler. I've tried a couple of their stuff that I didn't like, but usually I know I'm in for something good when I choose Stettler. Uh, rather than reading the back of this, I will read what it says on the card. Stettler Norris Color Pencils 12. The first colored pencil with an anti-break system. The Protective coating reinforces the lead and increases break resistance. A range of brilliant colors in a pencil that is easy to sharpen. Hmm. Very good. Okay, so we have lots of color choices. Oh, you're not in the screen. There we go. We have lots of color choices this month. Um, I'm not going to try them out here. I'll have to... Um, Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. Move this out of the way. We'll use this piece. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, so we'll use a piece of this paper, and we will move everything out of the way, and let's get down. I will zoom in. Oh, I'm zooming out. Ah. Okay. Zoomed in. Okay, first of all, let's try the Artline products. This is the Artline 200 fine liner which is 0.4 okay, and I will just write the word um, awesome writes nice not going to want to focus. No, I can't get it to focus, so you just have to look at it from here. Okay, I think maybe I'm zoomed in too much. No. Okay. Alright, so there, that's the fine liner. Now let's try the same one, but it's the 210 and it's a medium. It's a 0 0.6. This is much thicker. And I enjoyed writing with that one much better too. The other one's just a normal fine liner. I didn't find any difference. Um, okay. This chalk one isn't going to work because I don't have black paper, but what I will do is I will draw a line through the word awesome. So, do we prime it? No, we don't. Okay, so let's draw a line through this and see if it shows up. Not seeing anything. And it doesn't prime. I just wrote. I just wrote on the box to see if anything would show up. Hmm. It's not. I will have to. I will have to tr tr do some more work with that one to see if we can get it to work. Hmm. It's not like the one I had. So everything else I said about what it did, if it was like the one I said, uh, all out of the window. Okay, so let's look at the poster marker, and this is tempura paint. I don't think I have any tempura ones. Most of mine are acrylic or um, chalk or whatever I say. So this is the kind that we prime until the ink starts to flow, and there it goes. Coming out right away. Almost ready to start marking on the paper. There we go. Okay, so... Um, I'm not going to write awesome. It's too long for this fat pen. Let's write hello. Oh, yeah. Bit scratchy. Bit rough writing with. But I can see this more for 
the drawing with. Okay, cool. And now, the Wink of Luna. Okay, so we are going to push and prime this. Do I have to do something to it to make it work? Yes, I do. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the deal. When you get your when you get your pen, you see that black part right there? That's not part of the pen. That's stopping the ink, the ink up here from going into the pen. So what we need to do is unscrew it. Take off the black ring. And then where are we? Push this back in. And now I'm going to have to keep turning it against some resistance because it's going to punch the ball. There we go. Now we'll throw this away. Now we can prime our pen. Do some pushing on the, where it says push so you know where to do it. Okay, here it comes. I can see it. See, it's just entered the chamber. Okay, filled it up. Whoops, okay. Got a bit of a bubble there. Now, is that supposed to be happening or am I pushing too hard? Oh, I'll tell you. You can't even see what I'm doing. Where am I? Here we are. This is a beautiful color. This is going to take me a little bit of time to get the uh, pressure right. So just the right amount of paint comes out. Seem to be... No, see I'm getting, I'm getting blobs of paint. Is that... Oh, you know what it is? It's a bubble. It was just an air bubble. So I think... Once you get the arrow, oh yeah, look, see, now it's working. Okay, let's see if I can do some really bad writing with a brush pen. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that color. It's a silver blue. So now we put our tip on and we're fine. Now, if these are sharpened, pre-sharpened, we will try them out. See, got perforation. Oh, I ripped the box already. Okay, they're not sharpened at this end. But yes, they are. I think maybe I opened them upside down. Do they have colors? Do they have color names? Looking to see if they have color names. Aw, they don't. I don't think they even have numbers unless that says G7 on it. Let's see what another one says. Ugh. I can't read what it's where it says. Okay, so they don't have color names, which is no fun. I don't like them without color. Well, I don't not like them without names, but you know, names are fun. All right, so let's move down here, and I will write awesome with each one. Well, actually, let's just do a little bit of coloring since, they're, since they are pencil crayons. Nice. Brown. They're very creamy. Blending. Yeah, they're not. Does does this have prices on it? No, it doesn't. They don't put prices on it, and I can understand why because they're a UK company, and and um, you know, the, pr the prices in pound sterling aren't really going to mean much to us. So yeah, these will be nice to work with. They are very. They take a. They they're hard. But the lead's not hard. 
the lid is not hard. The lid is creamy and I mean it's not as soft as a as a Prismacolor or you know one of those high ends but uh, They blend, they blend a bit. Depends what colors you're blending together. Alright, I'm just going to quickly go through the rest of the colors now so you can see them all. I can see these lasting a while. They are quite strong and they definitely uh, lived up to the things that they said about them. They also feel really nice. Like they feel pla- yeah I guess they feel plastic. That was really cool. They don't feel cheap plastic. They feel like- they just feel really cool, okay? <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Um, I have a project going on which I'm sharing with my Instagram followers and also on my blog. Every month when I get a subscription box such as Scrawler Box, Sketch Box, Art Snacks, I am working on a, an altered puzzle and uh, every time I get a subscription box I do a puzzle piece using only the elements from that that kit so that I can try the stuff out and it's always fun to use a limited su supply of amount a limited amount of supplies my words in the right order and uh, when I do those, I post a picture on my Instagram, so you can join me over there if you want to see them when they're done. And uh, later on, after I've used all the uh, elements in, in this uh, box, and I know, and I have a, an opinion of what they're like to use, I will uh, post a more detailed review on my uh, review blog. So it's called Living Outside the Subscription Box, and if you want to join me over there, uh, you'll be notified when that review goes up. Otherwise, stay tuned and we will explore another video coming soon. Bye!